In Russia, restrictions imposed during the revolt are slowly being lifted, while rebellious Russian forces are withdrawing to their bases in Russia incorporated eastern Ukraine. Dasha Chernyshova is in Moscow. Dasha, this deal was brokered by Belarus. What more can you tell us about it? Well, indeed, as we have heard from Belarus and from the Kremlin as well, there was the rounds of several rounds of negotiations taking place between the Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko and the head of the Wagner mercenary group Evgeny Prigozhin. Those negotiations have continued throughout the day of Saturday. The result is uh, the understanding between the sides that Russia should not have any blood spilled of the Russian people on its own soil. So that's why the head of the Wagner mercenary group has agreed to the deal that has been proposed to him. As part of that deal, Yevgeny Prigozhin will be forced to get to Belarus. His fighters will be offered to sign contracts with Russia's Ministry of Defense. And the criminal charges that have been introduced, the criminal case, will be closed against Yevgeny Prigozhin. That was a criminal case under Article 279 of Russia's criminal code uh, for the incitement of armed mutiny. So we understand now that Yevgeny Prigozhin has left the city of Rostov on Don that happened last night, but his whereabouts remain unclear. What's also unclear is what is next for the Russian decision-making process, because Evgeny Prigozhin has been calling on stuffing changes with Russia's Ministry of Defense. This issue, as we have heard from the Kremlin spokesperson uh, Dmitry Peskov, has not been discussed as part of that deal. And Dasha, what has reaction been in the last several hours in Russia after this turnaround? Well, certainly we have seen the situation stabilizing with security measures being eased, so the Russians have been reacting as if nothing has happened. They do not really understand what that was, particularly when you talk to the Moscovites who have only seen the changes in the security mostly on the outskirts of the Russian capital as well as the troubles on the highways. As for the rest of Russia, we understand that traffic is now being restored on the highways that have been previously blocked, and this is in the areas of Voronezh, Lipetsk, as well as Rostov on done. Uh, people there have, of course, seen more of the, of the movement of the Wagner convoy towards the Russian capital. And in Rostov, we have seen also some mixed reactions with people sometimes even giving flowers to the Wagner fighters. But what is important today, and this is what many analysts are suggesting, is that the Russian people understand that unity is of what, of par what, is, what is of paramount importance at this very moment. And the Russian president has particularly been calling for unity. He has described the actions of the Wagner mercenary chief as treason, as a stub in the back, and called on the Russian people not to allow any civil war or the split in the Russian society. All right, Dasha Chernyshova in Moscow for us. Thank you so much.